good burrito, Dad. A good burrito to you? <laughs> I guess that works with any type of Mexican food, doesn't yeah. it? Good nachos. Well, that actually means good night, I think, doesn't it? No. In Spanish? No. Dad, can you quiet down for a bit? Because I'm trying to eat and watch TV at the same time, and it gets okay. confusing and for I'm not, me. I'm not even... Dad, are you sitting on the remote or something? Because no. the TV's all flickery. Actually, I am sitting on the remote, but I, I don't think I'm doing that. Well, get off the remote, because I okay. prefer it here's, to be here's, clear. Wait, here's the remote. I thought the screen is getting smaller. Yeah, I don't think I'm doing that. I don't, give I don't... me the remote, then. Yeah. And give me your burrito. I'm still hungry. You know what's weird? Every time I take a bite of this thing, the picture gets a little bit, a little bit uh, fuzzier. Dad, there's no picture. Well, I'm done. Well, turn it on. Turn it back on. I didn't turn it off. Here's Wait, the... What the, the... Dad, the remote is not helping, and this TV is plugged in. Maybe you should give it mouth-to-mouth, -mouth, Ben. Ugh, let me give it a shot here. Hold on. Ow! I don't think that's working. Let me get back here. Hold on. Give it another shot. Let me wedge my way back here. You know, why don't you pretend you're on TV, <sighs> and I'll just look at the screen, and I'll hear your voice. Say elsewhere in the news. Dad, is the TV on? No. <sighs> oh, man. This is the worst show I've ever seen, I've got to tell you that. Dad, this can't be happening. We have to retrace. Come on, baby! We have to retrace. Come on! Hey, Ben. 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 <sighs> Come on. Ben, you need to let go. Oh, no, Dad. Ben. This can still work. Ben. Dad, everything's connected. Come here. All the wires are connected. Ben, it's time to say... Clear! It's time to say goodbye. Clear! Laura, my darling, my schmiggle of love, my bissel of light, my everything to everybody, how are you today? I'm sorry, what was that? I thought I'd come in, like, with a bright entrance. You know, instead of the neurotic, crazy kind of, you know, therapy uh. thing that I do, I thought I'd come in with, like, that man thing. Hiya, baby cakes. How's my Laura? What do you think of that? No, I don't like it. Well, I, all right. I, I, apparently, I can't do anything right with you. I have tried for years to... I don't even want a, a smile at this point. I would settle for a smirk from you. I, I am shooting for a smirk. That's all I want from you. I've smirked at you before. That's right, you did. I stand corrected. As a matter of fact, I stand on my head. Look at this. Watch when I wave to you at my foot. Nice, huh? Do you think I have too much hair on my toes for a man? You know what I realize? What's that, Tom? I have trouble letting go of things. Tell me about that. Well, this whole Yoko thing, it's just really starting to hit me now. About, you know, she broke up the Beatles, and my anger's coming out, and I'm... I'm starting to boycott her songs, and I'm like the only one there, and I don't know. I, I have trouble even like letting go of physical things, like your nose. Yo, Doc, who's got it? Um, Doesn't it look like a nose in my hand like that? It does. That's... Do you think that they, they would have stayed together if it wasn't for her? You're talking about John and Yoko again? No, the Beatles. Uh, we sh wh why is that, does that all of a sudden seem so important to you? I don't know. I just get things, and they come up into my head, and, that's, and then I can't get rid of them. I can't get rid of them. I obsess. Yeah. I obsess with a thought. And then I obsess that I'm obsessing with the thought. And like, I, I, I wouldn't worry about it. I don't, I don't think... Well, that's why I'm here. I'm here not to worry. You're telling me not to worry about it. That's your advice? That's what I come in here for all these frigging years to get that kind of advice, not to worry about it? Thanks. You know, the guy at the newsstand could have told me not to worry about it. <clears throat> you know, if the guy at the newsstand says to you, don't worry about it, Dom, hmm. you still got to pay for the paper. Oh. And, you know, he, it, it is the same advice I'm giving you, but when I say don't worry about it, I'm... Drawing from my, my years of experience as a therapist. Who was your first patient? And why, uh, why is that important to you? Did he, I mean, is he gone? Did you tell him he graduated? He actually relocated. He left you. You want to talk about it? No, I, I no, but thank you for asking. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm sorry. No, I, I... You mind if I sit on your lap for a second? Just to relax? Not in a gay way? I guess that's all right. I... Okay. just want to let myself go limp a little. Ow. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. You ever wash these ears, Doc? <clears throat> Jeez. Doc, do you have an extra room in your house? I was thinking of moving in. Is that inappropriate? Yes. It's inappropriate, it's unavailable, and, and I, no, I don't have an extra room. Well, I'm not sleeping with you. I'll relax, I'll play ball, I'll wrestle with you, but I'm telling you right now, you're not going to get me in a sack. I love when these people go, may I be honest with you? No, please be as misleading and as deceitful as possible. That's all I would ever expect from a low-life scumbag like you. I don't mean that in a bad way. You're uh, angry today, Dom. Well, you know, Doc, I'm not really angry per se. I'm just in a very violent, hostile mood. 
Well, my concern is just that that you come in here every week and you release this anger and. Well, I'm thinking of taking Thai bow. Is that true? No, no. What? what how does that work? Well, exactly? it's great because you dance like a Broadway dancer mm -hmm. with lethal blows. So it's like the best of both worlds. You know, you could do like. And he gets your gun and still like knock everybody off the stage. It's just my, it's like my fantasy. I would love to just like start knocking dancers out. One, two, three. Ted, I think it's pretty clear, and I, I've made it pretty clear to you that I need a TV. I think we should get a new TV, and I think tomorrow we can go out. Dad, we need a TV right now. We don't need a TV now, Ben. We we can get through the evening without a TV. We've gotten through many evenings without a TV. I'm all tight. Well, we'll go out tomorrow night and, we'll, and, and get one. Well, why don't you take today off and we'll get it right now? Ben, I, I have a lot of patients who are really depending on me today. Like who? Well, the ones in my dependency group, to start with. Uh, their dependents. All right, fine. We'll go tonight, then. You know what, Ben? I can't go tonight. I, ha I have this seminar. Well, Deb, we got to get one. Well, you know what? If I come by your office today at noon, I'll borrow your car and go over to the mall and pick up a TV. No, Ben, this is, a, this, this is something we should do together. It's a major purchase, and we should do it together. I'd like to have some input on this. I'll fill you in as to what I'm going to get. Well, you just need to wait till tomorrow, but you need to be a little grown up about this thing. I am grown up about it. I just want the TV today. Maybe you and I could go to this seminar together on the split brain theory. Oh, please. I don't go to seminars. I, I actually think you would enjoy this one. This is a guy. He has this theory that people with mental disorders, actually, it's because of the, a war going on between the two sides of their brain. And he's designed these goggles that you wear. Really? Yeah. You're serious? No, I'm serious. They help the patient or the person get in touch with the sane side of their brain mm. so they can put their insane side of their brain in perspective. But the downside is he has to wear goggles all the time. Sounds like a, a far-fetched idea. It though. has to be because it costs 40 bucks to get in. <laughs> For 50 bucks to get a pair of goggles. <laughs> so what do you think? Does it sound inter interesting to you? What? What? I wasn't listening. The, the seminar. Oh, about the two sides of the brain? Yeah. And the goggles? Yeah. No. Okay. Alubel is actually my stage name. Mm -hmm. Yes, Alubel is my stage I chose the name Alubel. Right. And you may think it's two names. It's not. It's one name. Like Madonna, Alubel. 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 The name that was given to me at birth is Al Lubel. That's my actual name, Al Lubel. My stage name, Alubel. You know how James Bond goes, the name is Bond. James Bond. Yeah. I was thinking if I was a secret agent, i go, the name is Alubel. Alubel. Was there ever a Mrs. Alabella in your life? I've never been married. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I'm not, I'm not excited about getting married. I'm not, in fact, I don't think anyone is. Well, Even newlyweds. I, They're I, not excited about it. That's why on their car it says, just married. Actually, I'm scared to get married. You know, it's stand at that altar and go, I do. The ultimate vow, I do. I mean, I'm a totally indecisive person. I'm always asking people for advice. Mm -hmm. I get married if they reverse the vow. Do I? Yeah. I also have a big fear of aging, you know. There's a big part of me that doesn't want to accept the fact I'm getting older. Mm -hmm. You know, doesn't want to acknowledge the passage of time. Right. I mean, I'm 39 years old. I can't believe just 30 years ago I was nine. Mm -hmm. I can't believe just 10 years ago I was 29. And you may say, come on, just 10 years. 10 years is 10 years. But 10 years is not that long. 10 is not so much. I mean, have you ever looked at your fingers and thought, so many? I'm 39 years old. Mm -hmm. I'm closer to 50. To 50 than to 22. Right. I'm closer to 60 than to 12. 60 than to 12. And I'm scared of being 60 because 60 is getting up there. Yeah. I mean, because if you have a heart attack and die at 39, people are like, oh, my God, oh, no, he was only 39. But if you have a heart attack and die at 60, people are like, he was 60. Yeah. And you know, people always say to me, Al, what are you so worried about death for? It's out of your control. Right. Enjoy the ride, Al. I mean, if you're driving your car down the street and the road is wet and you got to stop short and you're scared and you do a 360, are you going to go, ah, or are you going to go, it's out of my control? Why worry about crashing? Enjoy the spin. All right, guys, that's fine. Just bring it right through here. Don't worry about the door. Don't worry about the desk. Don't worry about the rug. Rugs rip. Okay, set it down right there. That's good. Thanks. I'll take it from here because I know where to put it, and I don't want to trouble you guys. Let me get it. Here we go. Actually, maybe we should do it together. 
If you guys want to stay and watch the big set with me, that's fine. I can... Hey guys, could you put the door back on before you... Guys? You took the door off, and now the, there's no door. I'll put it back on. Todd, you're gonna love this. What's that? This is a big day. Really? Yeah. I just acquired mm -hmm. the big one. Right. The big baby. Mr. Biggerton. Professor Biggins. What'd you buy, man? Dr. Big. Paging Dr. Big. Todd, I just bought a 72-inch television. 72 inches? This is like, bar none, the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. When how I much think did about this thing it. set you back? Set who back? Whoever bought this, how much did oh, it not set me. that person not back? Not me. It set that person back a lot. Wow. Yeah, it was my father. Your father bought you a, a six-foot TV. Well, I did the paperwork. <laughs> But no, what this guy this guy has designed a pair of goggles because uh -huh. he maintains that depending on who you are, one side of your brain is reasonable and the other side is the, is the more creative and and usually is at war with the uh, reasonable side of the brain. Huh? This was a seminar you yeah. went to. Yeah, I went to it because I'm on his I'm on a mailing list essentially. Mm. Uh, now correct me if I'm wrong here, Cats, but the uh, the medulla oblongata. Hey, this is a family restaurant. Please. That's, uh, I love saying that the medulla oblongata. What? What about it? I just like saying that. That's All right. Well, years ago, I mean, before we know what we now know about the brain, which is not a lot. Yeah. They used to drill a hole in the skull. Ooh, oh, I heard to that. To permit the evil spirits to escape. Oh. What they didn't realize is that other evil spirits were getting in. <laughs> And also, electric shock therapy used to be very popular. Right. They still use that, huh? Well, it's, it's called the death penalty, but it's really... <laughs> Dad, come on in. Take a look-see. There she blows. No, oh, wait a minute, I'm sorry. There she blows. Ben, what is, what, what is this? What, what is going on um, here? It's a TV, Dad. I know it's a TV, but whose money bought that TV? What, what, what are, are you nuts? Dad, your hard-earned money bought it. We cannot afford a TV that That's size. There are simple answers to all these questions, but not now. Can you shut the thing off for one second? Oh, it takes a while to shut down. So it's sort of a five-minute shutdown process, ben. and I just got the whole thing on, so let's leave it on. I can't focus First of all, on... Come here. Stand right next to me. No. No, come on. Okay. Put your arm around me. All right. I'm going to put my arm around you. Okay. All right. Now take two steps back with me. All right. Now look at her. Huh? That is a very impressive piece of that, technology. It is man. over three times the size of our last set. I mean, you know the features this has? No, I, I don't Well, let know. me list them off to you. Okay. It has TV talk. What is TV talk? I don't know. What else does it have? It has a 3D YC digital comb filter. And what is that? It means it cleans itself. It's a self-cleaning TV? Yeah. Of course, it has the illuminated universal remote, which I'm holding in my hand here. My The uh, hair on my arms is rising from the static, I think. It, it does um, supposedly emit a stronger radiation than the normal 27-inch yeah. set. Here's a good one for you. It has parental control. Wait, let me let me take the illuminated remote and whack you over the head with it. Yeah, That's my kind of parental control. I mean, no, no, I'm not that, upset. But you said go buy the TV, and I went and bought the TV. Well, first of all, what, what did this set cost me? Oh, well, the cost is not an issue. Just enjoy. No, I just want to know whether we, whether well, we honestly, can... Well, honestly, Dad, you can't put a number figure on it. I'm sure it couldn't have been more than $600. Did you say I'm sure it couldn't have been more than 600 Yes, I'm certain of that. Huh. That's funny. Ben, don't don't torture me. Just tell me the number. All right, fine. Yeah, what it costs? $2,200. Ah! Oh, Dad. Hang on one second. Where's my pacemaker? It's in your chest. Ben, this is, we cannot spend, we can't spend $2,200 on anything. Dad, first of all, it took a lot of time and effort to get this thing in yeah. here. And I'm certainly not going to go through the time and effort to get it out. What I can say is if, if this TV is still here when I wake up tomorrow morning, Ben, hmm. I'll watch it. Hey, Dom. Yeah? I think that we need to move back into the areas that make you uncomfortable. Not that couch. I don't want to sit on that couch again. There's too many springs that go up my butt. We started to make a little progress. You were telling, you were telling me about... Look at this tattoo I had put on my thigh. Is that new? Yeah. Can you read it? To whom it may concern. Mm. Look at this other one. Going this way. Huh? 
That's very, that's very clever. Did you pay for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, not all at once. Yeah. Doc, what's your middle name? I, I'm not really sure that's an appropriate question, Dom. I was weaving this flower thing for you. My what's middle, your middle name? Right? My middle name is Paul. Is it really? Yep. Wow, never guessed that. What is, what is your middle name? I, I don't want to talk about it. It's ridiculous. What is it? Orangutan anus hair. Dominic John, orangutan anus hair, Irera. You think it's silly, don't you? <clears throat> no, I don't think it's silly no, at all. It's I think not it's funny. I think it's unusual. It's very unusual. Yeah. Rangatang ain't his hair, they would call me. I, I think that, that um you're trying to divert the conversation from you again to this fictitious world. Am not, am not dumb. You know, you, you regress all I you want. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Daddy, 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 daddy. <clears throat> but I think that you have a hard time making the, you, you had a hard time making the adjustment from a child to adolescent, and even more difficult from adolescent to adult. Doc, do you like the smell of this flower? <laughs> oh, I can't believe you got me again. What's that on your shirt? Whoop, uh, whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> Hi, Laura. Hi. You must have heard about the new TV, huh? Yeah, I heard about it. I mean, I was up to like five in the morning watching that thing. And I mean, you know what? It never ceased to amaze me. Mm. You know, when you sit close to that TV, it's like mind-blowing. This morning when I got up, I sat Indian style right in front of it, and I passed out. You know, if the TV's so great, what are you doing here? Well, I mean, even I, even a guy like me has to take breaks. <laughs> Plus, you know, my dad... Was a little upset about it, and I, I wanted to come by and pay a little lip service to his problem. He, he just wasn't particularly into it, especially the cost of it and the size of it and how he, he felt it ruined the apartment. Hey, Dad. Hey, Laura. Any calls or uh, mess hey, Dad. Any, any messages? Anything I should know about? Uh, no. Okay. Dad. Hey, could you do me a favor, Laura? Yeah. Can you ask Ben what he would like for dinner? Hello, Dad. Ben? Ugh. Your father would like to know what you'd like for dinner. <laughs> okay. And I see what you're doing, and, Dad. In fact, tell Ben that I think we can afford one chicken pot pie. Dad, don't do this. We could he tell, can't hear you, tell, Ben. Tell Ben we could, sh we could share one. Would you like to share a chicken pot pie with your father this evening? Okay, fine. You know what, Laura? Tell my dad that I'm not going to play this game with him. I'm going to talk directly to him. I'm not going to talk through you, okay? I can't tell him that. Tell my dad I'm not going to talk through you to talk to him. I don't have to just tell people whatever they well, want Laura, to you have to do it for people. both people in order for this to work. No, Laura. I don't. Yes, you do. Laura, it's I, not a one-way deal. Laura, you can't I think, do it with my dad Laura, and then not do it with me. You have my permission to tell me that if you if you want to. Tell I my dad really thank you. To. Okay, could you do it, though? Because I think otherwise... Yeah, obviously it's not going to work, Laura, if okay, you don't do um, that. Okay, Ben said something... No, here's what I said. That's Laura, something. Laura, don't what? misconstrue what I'm saying here. Laura, tell Ben not to get mad at me. Ben, don't get mad at me. You tell my dad I'm walking out. I'm walking out, and I'm keeping the TV, all right? Tell Ben not to leave in, in a huff. Dad, seriously. Dad. He can't hear you. Laura, please, just wait. I'm He's having a deaf to you. Dad, I'm having a moment with my dad. Tell Ben that I, that I can't hear dad, him while wait, he owns that TV. Wait, wait, wait. he can't hear you wait. while you own that TV. Dad, yeah. look uh, me in the eye. Oh. Look me in the eye, and tell Laura to shut up. Hey, Ben. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for doing the right thing. I really, I'm proud of you, and, and it makes me makes me feel good. I got your desk back in, as you noticed. Yep, I appreciate that. The door is back on its hinges. Yeah. I mean, we did scratch the floor up a little bit. I mean, that's not... Yeah. Why, why did you get a TV smaller than the one we, we already had? I didn't. That's the same size as the one we had. No, we, we had a... Um, a what? A 27-inch. Oh, really? Well, here's the manual. What does that say? Uh, 27 seven inch. inch. Yeah. It just seems so... I guess it seems small in comparison to the... To yeah, the, I guess you're right. It does. But you know what? We'll get used to it. What's he doing? Is he taking out a gun or is that a pen? Well, that's a gun, Dad. Okay. Why don't you put on your glasses? No, I have my glasses on. No. I guess we could move the couch a little closer now. And um, why, maybe, do you, maybe, why do you want to do that? We, so we can see the TV. Yeah, the place feels a bit lonely without the big one, doesn't it? It just feels, it, it feels like, well, it just feels like it used to. It's different watching this way. Well, which way? On a TV, you can't really see. <laughs> Do you have any interest in going down to Big Bob's and getting the big screen TV back? I can't hear you. I'm on my way to Big Bob's. 
I remember I went uh, to the Grand Canyon. They have these donkey rides. Mm -hmm. They go down to the bottom of the Grand Canyon. You make these gradually ascending circles on the donkeys right. to get to the bottom. What's amazing is they don't put up any railings or fences. Nothing. We're right on the edge. I was just one little wrong donkey step from death. One. Mm -hmm. I said to the tour guide, I'm really scared. He says to me, don't worry about it. No donkey has ever fallen in before into the canyon. And it was really scary. Every couple of minutes, my donkey would turn his head and look down into the bottom of the canyon. And I got really scared because I thought like, what if just one time he looks down and decides, a mighty mule? I mean, I could be the first person to ever die from a donkey delusion. I'm thinking of making a career change, I'm going to be honest with you. Why is that? Well, because I, I, I'd like to play in a marching band. I mean, I think that the idea, the glory, and the I want to be a musician. Mm -hmm. And I think the rock thing is fading and the whole thing. I'd like to play in a marching band. I like the hat. I like the high hat. I like to wear a hat that's like four or five feet above my head and just stroll and maybe be a drum major. Do you realize how far they can lean back without falling down? Nobody ever gives them credit for that. Whoops, you know what the music means, Sam? We're going to have to stop. Could you change that song? How long have I been coming here to the same song? Well, what did you have in mind? Why don't you play some mambo? Dummy likes the mambo. What is this, the lombata? It's, it's worse than the lombata. It's oh. more, but the people that do the lombata won't even look at it. I am not doing an do extra it. for Come here, just give me one. Just do it as the music goes. 